everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I will be working at organizing a few different areas in our home, sharing some organization ideas, and then later on in the video, sharing a grocery haul and restocking the fridge. So a variety of different things in today's video. I hope that you enjoy it and that it can give you a lot of organization and decluttering inspiration. The first space I'm going to work on today is this extra closet we have in the entryway of our bedroom. There I was showing you what it was looking like before I cleaned it out. I use this closet to store all of my extra home decor and home project items. I was needing to declutter and organize this closet, but we also wanted to add better storage so that we could utilize this space a little bit better. Right now the closet only has this top shelf for storage, but I did also add this shoe rack in here to store smaller items on, but it wasn't really working out too great and was taking up a lot of space. So we are going to add a tall bookcase from Amazon and more shelves to this closet to create some custom closet organization. We're actually going to be doing the exact same thing that we did in Levi's closet a few weeks ago. His closet was exactly like this one and we added some DIY custom closet organization. We love how it turned out, so we wanted to do the exact same thing to this closet here in our bedroom as well. Also wanted to mention here at the beginning that I am doing a giveaway in today's video. I'm giving away a $50 gift card to Amazon so that one of you can buy some organization products for your home on me. The details of how to enter this giveaway will be typed up here on the screen and also down below in the description box. So there was quite a few home decor and home project items in this closet. Just because with my YouTube channel, I'm always doing different projects and different decorating things around the house. I switch out my home decor now and then. And I also just like to keep a little bit of a storage of decor items because last year we did a flip house. So I used a lot of this decor for that. Right now my living room is basically completely empty. So a lot of this decor will be going out there. And also my office is empty right now. So I'll be using some of this in my office as well. And I just never know what types of projects I'll be doing in the future, whether it's at someone else's house or my house or maybe a future flip house. So I just always like to keep a bit of a storage of some home decor items that I love on hand. So once I had everything cleared out of the closet, then I cleaned, did some dusting up in the corners to get the cobwebs down. I dusted off that shelf and then vacuumed the floor and then Jalen got started on putting together this bookcase. Like I said, this is the exact same bookcase that we used in Levi's closet. It's a very affordable price on Amazon. It's a great way to add some storage to your closet. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money, this bookcase is a good option. It's only about $52 on Amazon, I think. It is a very cheap bookcase. Like you can tell when you're putting it together, you can tell here on the video, it is quite a cheap looking bookcase, but it does work if you're trying to do some closet organization on a budget. You don't want to spend a lot this bookcase is a good option now just like levi's closet he did have to cut a few inches off the top of this bookcase before we could slide it under that top shelf so what he did is he just took the top two pieces of the bookcase out to his table saw cut off a couple of inches before he finished putting the bookcase together and then he just nailed this bookcase to the top shelf to secure it into place now for the two shelves on either side, I just bought a six foot board from Lowe's. This board was around $20, I think. And then he just cut that in half and cut it to size. And then that was what we used for these two smaller shelves. To secure these to the wall, you guys saw there, he just took some little pieces of scrap wood and screwed those into the studs in the wall and then was able to just nail those shelves right on top. Once that was complete, then I got some white paint and I painted two coats of white paint onto these shelves just to help them blend in with the rest of the closet. And that's it. It's very simple to easily and affordably add some custom organization to your closet with just a bookcase and two shelves. Mm -hmm. 
These are some baskets that I already had on hand. You never know when you're going to need little baskets like this and they were the perfect size to put on these shelves. I can store smaller items in these. And then I also had a few of these acrylic containers still on hand from my last organization video I did. I had a couple of extra acrylic containers. So that was perfect. I could just put these right here on the shelf for storing all of the smaller items in. And then I just got started on organizing everything back into this closet. And this is when I'm going through items. When I'm doing a declutter and organize like this of a space, I usually pull everything out of the space and then I go through everything as I'm putting it back into the closet or the dresser, whatever space you're working on. I actually only got rid of maybe just a couple of items. I ended up keeping almost basically everything and there was still a lot of room left in this closet. So really happy with how this turned out and how we were able to utilize the space in this closet just so much better. Is how the closet turned out it looks so much better I'll quickly walk you through the different categories I have stored in this closet before we move on to organizing the next space we'll start with this bookcase on the bottom shelf is books pictures extra simply safe items and then the next couple of shelves are just smaller decor items things for projects I've got a rug pad up here and some extra Cricut items I have some extra filming computer items up in that top acrylic container over on the left shelf is lighting so I've got a couple of different lamps and in that basket is some macrame items I have three different rugs stored over in this corner and also an extra curtain rod over on the other side is some picture frames and canvases. I've got this large vase and some plant stand holders. I did end up deciding to pull this mirror out of here though. I'm just going to donate this because I have not used it in years. So it needs to go up on this next shelf is some more frames and decor. Just nice to keep those wooden bowls, the big basket on hand. You can use stuff like that, not just for decorating, but also for decorating for parties and different things like that. Up on this very top shelf, I've got some blackout curtain panels, an extra curtain panel of my favorite curtains that I have in the house, those white curtains. And then in this metal basket is leftover wallpaper from different wallpaper projects I've done and also some peel and stick paper. In that next acrylic container is two extra throw blankets that I used for staging in the flip house. I might use them in the living room. I've got a rug on top of there. And then in this tan bin is all of my fall decor. And then over on that left side, I just have some boxes stacked up. So some of my Cricut items and then boxes for my camera and microphone and everything. Okay, so now it's the next morning and the first thing I did was to bake the sourdough loaf that had been rising all night. And before we get started with the organizing I did on this day, I'm going to take a quick minute to share with you the sponsor of today's video, which is Aura Frames. You've heard me talk about Aura Frames before. I love them. They make a great gift. So this is a Wi-Fi connected digital frame and you can add unlimited photos and videos from your phone or computer. These would make the perfect Mother's Day gift. Mother's Day is coming up on May 14th and an Aura frame would just be a perfect gift option, especially if they live far away from you. I gave one of these to my grandma a couple months ago. She lives in Pennsylvania and she has her frame in her home and I can be here in Arizona uploading photos and videos to her Aura frame from the app on my phone. And all of our family members who are scattered across the US are on the app as well. My aunts, uncles, cousins, 
siblings, parents, and everyone is uploading photos and videos to the Aura frame for my grandparents. And these frames are really easy to set up. It took me like two minutes. I just had to download the app on my phone, plug in the frame, connect to the Wi-Fi, and then just start uploading. And if you want, you can preset this frame and have it all ready to go for whoever you're gifting it to. And you can just leave a video message and a written note for them. So just a perfect Mother's Day gift. And right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. If you click the link in the description box, you can get $30 off their Carver Matte Frames, plus free shipping with my code Hannah. This deal does end on Mother's Day, May 14th, so be sure that you take advantage of that. Okay, so now let's get back to the organization. The first space I'm going to work on today is this hall closet. It's just getting a bit messy in here. So I just need to quickly reset this closet and then I got some fun organization items for all of these puzzles that are here on the floor. This basket has school workbooks that Kyle's already completed from like kindergarten and first grade. And I thought I can't be keeping every single book that he completes over the years as we do homeschool. So I decided I'm just going to flip through these books and tear out one or two special pages for memories, put them in a folder, and then that is what I will keep and then just got rid of most of the books. I'd love to hear down in the comments what you do as far as keeping school books and school papers that your kids have completed. Obviously things like special projects or little stories he writes, I do keep all of those in a container and I will probably just put this folder in that container as well. But at the end of the day, you just can't keep everything, but it is hard to decide what to keep for memories and what to not keep. Okay, so now I'm going to go through this basket of puzzles, get them all organized, and in a previous organization video, I'd ask you guys for ideas for puzzle organization, and you shared so many good ideas in the comments of that video, and the top suggestion was to just use reusable zipper bags. So I ordered this set of zipper bags on Amazon. This is a 28-piece set, really colorful and great for storing kids' items. It was only $16 for this set of 28 and they have a couple of different sizes. This was the 9 by 13 size, but I think it would be nice to get a variety of sizes of like even bigger bags and smaller ones just because you have all different sizes of puzzles. So I was going through all of these puzzles and the ones that you put on a puzzle board, I was putting those together and then putting them in the bag um, just so that the pieces won't fall out when they're setting in this basket and then just get all mixed together. That way they can just be in the bag, the puzzle will stay together, and then the ones that don't have a board and were just in a box, I dump them into the bag. And if you have to be able to see the box in order to put the puzzle together, you can just cut out the front of the box and put that right in the bag. That way you can see how to put the puzzle together. This would also be a good idea for games that are stored in boxes. You know, the boxes after a while, they start to break these puzzle boxes and game boxes. So just putting them in a baggie is a lot easier, but only one of the puzzles actually showed you the completed puzzle on the front of the box. So I only had to cut out one, put that in the bag, um, but this just worked out so great. Turned out awesome. Everything is nice and organized in this basket. The boys were really excited. They're going to start putting together puzzles more often. Nobody wants to put together a puzzle when they're all just thrown together in one basket and you have to dump the whole thing out to find a puzzle. So this just worked out really awesome. I will have these linked down below. They are a good price and they've got a couple of different sizes.
that large puzzle in the back is the only one that's not in a bag so if the pieces fall out of that into the basket we know which puzzle it goes to but this is looking so much better something I've been wanting to tackle for a while so I'm glad I finally got that done after that was done I vacuumed the floor in this closet and now it's looking much better in here as well just taking a couple of minutes to quickly clean up this closet and reset everything helps the space to stay organized because once you organize a space you can't expect it to stay that way forever you're going to have to come in every couple of months and just kind of reset things take a couple of minutes to just quickly put a few things back into its place maintain the space and keep it organized over time especially an area like this that we're using every single day Okay, so now Jalen is going to put together this play shelf for Levi's room. This play shelf was sent over by Love Every. We love their play kits. Levi gets those every couple of months, and now they do offer this play shelf as well. So we're excited to try this out. This play shelf is made of 100% birch wood. It's a very high quality, sturdy piece. Jalen was very impressed as he was unpackaging it just by the quality and how easy it was to put together because they had a barcode there. You saw him scan the barcode with his phone and then they had just like a step-by-step -step tutorial. It was really cool. We'd never seen anything like that before. A step-by-step -step tutorial, someone telling you how to put it together with images and video and it was just super awesome and really easy to put together. Once we carried that back to Levi's room, I vacuumed the floor under where it was going to set and then I also unboxed his latest play kit which is always super fun when he gets these every couple of months. Uh, we love just sitting down with him and unboxing it together, seeing his excitement, and these play kits are so neat because they're made specifically for the age that he's at right now. This one was for, I think, 16 through 18 month olds, and he is 17 months. I had to think about it for a little bit last night when I was trying to figure out how old he was, but he is actually already 17 months old next week, which is just crazy. He's growing up way too fast. I love how this toy shelf looks in his bedroom. The wood color just ties in with everything. It's the same wood color as the base of his crib and also the other wood accents that I have over at his dresser. So just ties in with everything. And this room was needing more of this wood color. So this is perfect. So in the front, it's got the shelves to keep his toys on and it's the perfect little height. And then back here is like a toy chest. So you've got all of this storage for toys back here, two of these bins right on top. I don't have much toys in here. He's only one, so he's still collecting toys and I just try to keep it minimal here in his room as well. But this is going to be great over the years because this is for toy rotation. And so you can store toys back here and then just rotate them out onto the shelves. This is something that I've always done with my kids through the toddler years is to do toy rotation, but I would usually just have the toys in a rotation bin in the top of their closet and then just rotate out the toys in their room. But this is such a neat concept because you can have the toys stored back here really easy and then just rotate them out on the shelves. And this is not going to smash any little fingers because as you can see it, takes a lot to get it to close. You can push on it and it's not slamming shut. 
so you don't have to worry about that. So this is just the perfect little setup for toy storage and toy organization. Here in his bedroom, it will grow with him through the years. It will match his bedroom furniture. This crib is going to grow with him through the years because it does change into a toddler bed. So I've got the little rail in his closet for that and it's the same wood color as the base so it's all just going to tie together over the years. And now that that is completed, I'm going to move over here to the other side of the room and clean up his dresser area a little bit, restock the diapers, just finish cleaning his room before we move on to the next area. So for diaper organization, usually I keep these two bottom drawers fully stocked with diapers and wipes, and then anything extra I will keep in his closet. Up on top of his dresser, as you'll see here in a minute, I keep a green cloth basket that I got from Hobby Lobby, and in that basket I keep about maybe 8 or 10 diapers, and then his wipe container, which I'll link his wipe container down below. It has been so nice over the last 17 months. So once I get his floor vacuumed, I'll show you what I made for lunch that day. I had pinto beans cooking in the crock pot with some ham, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then I'm also going to make some cornbread to go with this. You can't have pinto beans without cornbread. Pinto beans and cornbread is something that we had a lot growing up. My mom was from Kentucky, and so we usually had pinto beans and cornbread at least every other week for a meal. And it's something I love to make for my family. At least every two weeks, put it in the meal plan. The boys love it. They love to put some cheese and sour cream in with the beans. And those pinto beans we get in a like 30 pound bag from a local farmer, and I just keep those in a big container in the pantry. I make homemade refried beans. I use the pinto beans for chili and just a lot of different recipes. It's a great budget-friendly food item to keep in your pantry. For the cornbread recipe, it was just a simple cornbread recipe from Pinterest. You have to cook that in an iron skillet. And then while it's still warm, once you get it out of the oven, just put a little butter on top of there to melt over the top. And you've got that nice crispy top on your cornbread with the melted butter very delicious. So now I'm going to head to the grocery store and this was either the day before or two days before when I had gone to the grocery store but I just went ahead and put it here at the end of the video. So I just got back from the grocery store. I'll do a quick haul and then clean out and restock the fridge. First, I went into the little thrift shop there in town. It's like a thrift and antique shop, but I found this little mug for $1. Thought this was pretty cute and would be great for lattes. I've been trying to collect some cute and unique coffee mugs. So every time I go in a thrift store or an antique store, I always look through all of the mugs to see if I can find any that stand out. Lots of fruits and veggies to restock the fridge with. Starting over here, I got baby carrots, celery sticks. This is one of the boys' favorite snacks to just put some peanut butter on a celery stick. These are five for a dollar, so I grabbed those. Apples, a bunch of bananas. We go through bananas really quickly in our house. A head of lettuce, a bunch of cucumbers. These are cheap and just make great snacks or they're also great to cook with. Five bell peppers for, no, it was five bell peppers for $4, I think it was. Over here, some yogurts. I got this probiotic yogurt drink for the boys. It was on clearance. Two cottage cheese, some of that is for lasagna and then also some for snacking. I got some vanilla yogurt and then also some Greek plain yogurt. These were on clearance, 50% off, so I got two boxes of these for the boys. They like to put these in the freezer and eat them frozen. Some cheese here, shredded cheese and also some blocks of cheese. Bread, the Dave's Thin Slice Good Seed Bread and then 
also this bread to toast in the oven with some butter and garlic. Big bag of Idaho potatoes, two containers of strawberries because these were on sale and the blueberries were also on sale. These were two for $7, these were two for $7. And then the salad was also on sale. I think this was like maybe $5 for this large box of salad, but I'm actually trying to grow my own salad out on the front porch, that way I don't have to buy it anymore. So hoping that that works out okay. I got a bag of lemons. Over here, these are items that I don't normally get. I don't usually get fish, but I just wanted to try some salmon. There's a recipe I want to try. So I got this. It was a pretty good price, $12 for this large package of salmon. And then I want to make some breakfast casseroles. So I got this bag of tater tots. And then these are for making barbecue chicken wraps. Over here, two packages of applesauce, some salad dressings back here. This was on a really good clearance, like $3. So I got that. Owen's been asking for macaroni. So I got two packages of those, some chips and some pretzels over here. The boys are already getting into Levi's already getting into these graham crackers. These are his favorite. Got a bunch of tortillas over here. I'm trying to go quickly because my battery's dying. These rice cakes are for me. I want to try a couple of different snack recipes with these. Little package of paper plates, some saltine crackers, and I think that is everything. The total price for all of this was exactly $200. I was hoping it would be a little under 200, maybe at around 180 but because I got these extra items that I don't normally get, that put it right at the 200 mark, but a decent amount of groceries, I'd say, for $200. That you enjoyed today's organization video and I hope that it gave you some organization ideas and inspiration maybe a little bit of motivation today don't forget to enter that giveaway for the $50 Amazon gift card and also don't forget to go and check out aura frames you can get $30 off with my code so take advantage of that and thank you each so much for watching we appreciate all of you so much and all of your support I hope that you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next Tuesday with a new video. Bye.